Hey, what's going on, guys? Alex with NBC 11 Alive. Team 1 1, born to compete. Look, guys, I got one of the best freshmen in the country, whether we're talking basketball, whether we're talking football. At Milton High School, Bruce Thorne, what's going on, man? How you doing? How you feeling right now? I'm good. Yeah? Yes, sir. Hey, you got a smile on your face, man. Like, you know, that's like one of them dominating. I dominated my freshman season in basketball. All right, so you made the move up to Milton. Yes, sir. Good basketball storage program. How'd you like playing there? It was a, it was a great experience for me. I got a new head coach, mm -hmm. Coach Allen Whitehart, and a good coaching staff that helped me a lot this year. All right, now people can say you play on the ball. Yeah. And you like the real deal with the ball in your hands. You tell me what's that like? I mean, it's a lot of pressure because 7A basketball, mm -hmm. I mean, one of the best basketball gym yeah. in, in the country. So you took football off this past season, but I heard you're going to try to get back out there. What made you want to do it? Uh, the passion for the game. Yeah. I mean, my dad played in the NFL mm -hmm. and just inspired me since I was like five years old. So missing out this year, like it kind of hurt me a little bit. Did it? I saw you at the game. I ain't bother you though. I saw you, you know, I wasn't going to say nothing to you. I, you know, you with your friends and everything. What did you miss most about it? Like, it's just like the adrenaline rushing through my body, just wanting to hit somebody or to catch the footballs. I can see that. I, I can honestly see that. And for those that have never seen this guy play, man, he's a real deal on the football field. Now, going back to basketball, this past year, you know, you had success. You know, we are, everybody knows about your stats and everything like that. But what, when did you feel like you had really arrived, you know, as a freshman basketball player in 7A basketball? Mm, I think it was, I think when I went to South Carolina for a tournament. Yeah. And I think I averaged like, I had like 17 my first game. Yeah. And it just showed me like, I can really play. Mm -hmm. At first I was just nervous for the first five games. Yeah. I like, sometimes I didn't even score a game. I was yeah. so nervous. Yeah. But after that tournament, I just felt good, felt loose. Now tell me what you learned the most from this season. I had to be poised. Mm -hmm. I, had, I had to play with confidence. If you don't play with confidence, like you will not play well at all. Mm -hmm. So that's what I learned that season. Now you played next to a guy that plays football and basketball as well with Jordan Yates. Did you have a chance to kind of build a relationship or at least pick up something from him? Yes. What's that? The leadership, leadership part, talking to players without yelling mm -hmm. or cursing at them, just bonding with them off and mm -hmm. on the court. You know, I know individually, you know, like I know you play uh, with TSF, the yeah. Skills Factory, and they do a great job over there. But individually, kind of what are your goals when you get to high school next season? First, I want to win state. Yeah. No, it's region, then state. Yeah. Then for my personal goal, probably win player of the year. Mm -hmm. But for my region, then for the state. And you dead serious, too. Dead serious. What are you working on? Tell me. My ball handling, my shooting. Yeah. I've been a little rusty with mm -hmm. my shooting lately, but I just had to work on it, put in work. Bruce, anything else you want to say? Uh, shout out to my mom, my brother Bryce, my grandma, mm -hmm. Miss Rita, Coach Adam, Corey. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody. Either way, guys, make sure you check him out. He's going to be at Milton. Look, basketball, football, he is the absolute real deal. And make sure you catch us Friday nights with Jeff Hudger and the crew. And, of course, us, Born to Compete, the number one segment in the country. Take care, guys. We're out.